All right, now listen to this article here.、Uh, this is from the Business Standard. I, I I just cannot imagine. Well, actually, I could that this actually happened with the, with the James Bond star George Lazenby.、Uh, if you remember him, he played James Bond the original James Bond movies,、uh, and the article is saying that. The producers thought he was a homo, and <laughs> that they sent up a girl to、uh, you know check things out, you know, you know, run the engine a little bit to see if it's true or not. <laughs> Says here that producers feared that James Bond star George Lazenby, who appeared as a super spy in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, was gay and sent a woman to check if it was true. A new documentary has claimed. The documentary claimed that the producers of the Bond movie had their doubts about George Lazenby's sexuality after casting him to play 007. I mean, what? Why? I mean, was he、uh, sucking their cocks or I mean, what? What was their beef? I mean, people.、Uh, God, these producers are so fucking stupid. A lot of these producers in Hollywood are just. Pathetic. You know they don't know what the fuck they're thinking. And I mean, look at the shit movies that we have today, like all these dude movies, stupid comedy movies with Ben Stiller or Rob Schneider, only these stupid, really dumb movies. I mean, they're really dumb. I mean, they're fucking high school movies. You know, they're they're meant for people with. With no capabilities of of understanding wit or intelligent comedy or or anything like that, it's basically degrading comedy movies. These these new films that come out. God. Anyway, I just want to let people know how I feel about Rob Schneider and <laughs> Ben Stiller and all these other stupid airheads. You know, every time I go to the movie theater, that's why I don't go to the movie theater anymore. I mean, but you know, not just because the people that go there that really just bother the fuck out of me. But it's just like I sit there and I watch these these previews. I mean, what the fuck? I came here to watch the fucking movie, not to watch a fucking preview. But no, they force me to watch like fifteen previews, and the movie doesn't start like, until like half hour later of the scheduled time. The hell is that? I have to watch all these Ben Stiller and Rob Schneider previews, acting like a bunch of fucking morons. At least Tom Green has some fucking dignity, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, but their comedy, Rob Schneider's comedy, is fucking stale. I mean, it's so it's just it's it's borderline childish. At least with Tom Green, it was a little bit entertaining and disgusting, but.、Uh, You know, I would say intriguing, but Rob Schneider, you know, it's just, it's just lame. I mean, it it just, I don't know. I'm not the kind of guy that will enjoy these kinds of movies, especially if high schoolers are like, "Oh, did you see that latest movie with Ben Stiller?" Fuck that. Anyway. The Australian was a model, whose most prominent work had been had been a TV commercial for Big Fry chocolate. He had the physique and self assurance for the part, but there was one big question. The Sunday Express reported, "Quote: They sent a girl up to my apartment to make sure I wasn't gay. A little while later, they had their answer. <laughs> I sure as hell wasn't." <laughs> Oh, that's funny shit. <laughs> a, li- a little while later, they had their answer. <laughs>、uh... She's like, "No, man, that guy's not fucking gay. He's not a homo." Oh man, he fucked. He pounded me like a fucking piece of chicken. 
He went on to be the most notorious womanizer of all Bond actors as he tried to live the 007 life on screen and off. Oh, so this was like the starting point. Basically, they thought that this guy was a homo. He wasn't going to be a womanizer. But, you know, and of course, back then, you know, they were worried about that. They didn't want him to be a homo. They didn't want 007 to be a homo. But because of this... Uh, conspiracy theory that they were uh, basically thinking about their actions which was to bring up a girl up to his room which led to him being a womanizer basically this is interesting <laughs> yeah oh we think you're a homo 007 really send me a girl I'll show you. I'll even videotape it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard of these guys would uh, would do that. Uh, I don't know. I heard about this report, uh, a blog post somewhere on, on a uh, a blog a while ago that there was this. There's this website, I don't know, a forum where guys can put up their their porno, their homemade porno, um, and you know they will say, "Look, this is me, this is me, Jason," and fuck no, I'm not gay. So here I am proving it to everybody, and you know, you can send your friends uh, a copy of that video, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, I went on there once and. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know. So, Bond, James Bond. No, I'm not a homo. <laughs> I'm 007, not 0069. But, no. James Bond, not a homo. <laughs> 